Hey everyone, welcome back to Jump To It Designs. In this video, I thought since it's almost March, I would lay out my March monthly in my own personal planner. So what I'm gonna do for March is we have our two different layouts, which we have our St. Patrick's Day one and the Stay Toasty one. And I'm gonna use the Stay Toasty because I really love the way that this turned out. And also I'm not a huge St. Patrick's Day person, so Stay Toasty was perfect for me. So this is just a close up of what the monthly looks like. And then this second page, and then I have the expansion right here. So we're just going to zoom on in and get started. And the first thing I'm gonna do is put down that big sticker here. And I know now we actually are doing this a little different. And I think the video before this one, I'm gonna be laying out the May monthlies and you'll kind of see what I'm talking about in that video where I say we kind of separated this big sticker so that you don't have to worry about laying this down because this can sometimes be a challenge. I think that is gonna be a little crooked, but there we go. So I have that big sticker right there and then this one is gonna be just that big L shape. Er, actually, no, it's not. It's just that little one. So I'm gonna take this and try to do it in the corner. I already laid out a ton of monthlies today to test out the sizing for the May monthly, so I feel like I've laid out so many today. And then I'm just going to take this little square because that is going to go right under here. And that will line up to go right there. So see how that one was two separate stickers? That is kind of like how our monthlies will now be even on this side too. Because we feel like this is just a lot easier to lay out instead of laying out a big chunk sticker. And next I'm going to do... The little sidebar area, which used to say notes or um, goals, but now that they took that away, we did too. So now it has nothing, which I kind of like because now you can put whatever you want there. So that's laid down, and then I think that is good to go. Now it's just time to start adding all of the little day dots and I'm going to take a pair of tweezers have some right here and I'm just gonna do a few so that you guys can see but yeah tweezers definitely help a ton when it comes to laying out these little dots That is what the top row looks like, and then I'm just gonna go ahead, do the rest, and then be right back. So now that I got, ooh, camera is shaky. Now that I got all of those little day dots down, I'm gonna go through and add, whoops, the holidays. Um, and I'm just gonna do the holidays that I do, or I guess I can do all of them. Um, I'll do... I'll put Ash Wednesday right there. And then spring forward, which is when daylight savings time begins. And then spring begins on the 20th. And I'm really, really excited for spring because I'm so tired of winter. I am just so tired of this cold weather and rainy. It's been so rainy recently and it's just driving me insane. So I'm over it. Over it and ready for sunshine all the time. 
I'm just going to add, like I always add the bill due sticker because I got to pay my rent on the first. And, oh, then I'm going to add the little April calendar just right here on the bottom because I always like adding that so I can kind of quickly glance and see what days certain stuff is on. And then let me see, I'm gonna check out my phone right now on my calendar and see if there's anything happening. Oh my gosh, that's right. We're going to um, a concert on Friday. So really exciting. Really, really excited about that. And I think we're gonna be gone for the weekend. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut the little strip thingies because I love doing that. And just to show you guys again how that is done, I'm just going to take it, whoops, have it so it's laying down like that. And then cut it off and I always butcher it at the back, that's fine. And then this day is when we're coming back, oh gosh. So, and then I just have that little strip there so it's like connecting the whole weekend and then I'll probably have something there letter saying go home at this time. And then I always like using our little pink popcorns that can be found. Let me see, where are they? They are these little guys and we just call these our period popcorns because they're all pink and red. And yeah, I just like marking that little time down. And let's see what else. Oh, I gotta go to the doctor on the 11th. So then I'll put the little stethoscope right there and then I'll write the time for that. Then it's my dad's birthday on the 13th. And it's also my dad's birthday and then he has a twin, so obviously then it's his birthday. And then my other uncle it's actually his birthday, so it's kind of like all of the guys on that side, the family. It's like their birthday all together. So that is a big day. So I'll put the little cake right there for the birthday. And then, let's see. Oh, and then I'm having my friends come and visit me on the 23rd, I think, or 22nd. I forget if it's the 23rd or the 22nd. So I'll just wait until I know for sure. But yeah, so I'm going to zoom you guys on out so you can see what the final monthly spread looks like. So this is what it looks like in my planner and I'm so happy with it. I just love, I just love this so much. and. I just love the way that it turned out. And yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Oops, <laughs> keep shaking my camera. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like this video and subscribe so you never miss another plan with me again. And like us on Instagram and Facebook. And that's all, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.